joined here in our locker room set with uh, Charles Hanegriff, the uh, sports director, Eagle 98.1, 1045 ESPN in Baton Rouge, and the guy that I sit second chair with on Wednesday nights on the, uh, the Tiger Zone following the Coach Miles show. This week we're going to be on Tuesday nights from 7 to 9 uh, with Coach Miles coming on at 9 o'clock. Charles, uh, first of all, thanks for being around. Sure. Now, LSU goes to 2-0 last night. It's a, it's a pretty impressive win when you look at how, how they were. What's your thoughts on this team, you know, now at 2-0? Obviously, uh, very good defensively, uh, good special team, strong running game, passing game that uh, has been uh, adequate and, you know, hopefully uh, will be improving. I was struck by something that Bradley Dale Pivoto said, though, last night uh, in the post game. He said, this is the fastest team in the country, has to be. And uh, I can't see how they're not ranked number one. I'm paraphrasing a little bit here. It reminded me of something that Smoke Laval said when he brought uh, his UL Monroe team back in here in 2000. Um, and he said after LSU had beaten him, he said, uh, I told the master, Skip Bertman, after the game that he's got the goods, that this team is as good as any we've had. And it was significant because Laval had been on two of uh, Bertman's championship staffs. He knew exactly what Skip wanted to do. He knew exactly the kind of personnel you, it took to win a national championship. He says, hey, you got it. Pivoto is the same thing. He was on a national championship staff. He knows exactly what Les Miles wants to do. He knows the talent level that it takes to win a championship. And he basically looked at it last night and said, hey, you got it. So I thought that was significant. And, and, and looking at what they've got, you got you got pretty good quarterback play last night. The receiving, you didn't see any, uh, well, you saw a lot of really good play out of the passing game. Is there a quarterback competition here? There's not a quarterback controversy. Jared Lee's your guy. But is Zach Mettenberger playing his way into getting more game reps? Well, uh, I think that when there's an opportunity to do it, I don't know that they're going to script anything for him. When they've gone to quarterback system, whether it be Flynn and Perilou or Jefferson and Lee, there's been a contrast in the styles of the quarterback. Lee and Mettenberger are the same style of quarterback. So I don't think you'll see anything scripted, at least not now. But I think you saw that Zach Mettenberger has a lot of ability. He throws a very nice ball and uh, showed a lot of different things that he could do last night. So we'll see how the season uh, progresses. I don't think they're going to script anything yet, though. Now, when you look at this being a short week, that's pretty much a guarantee that they're going to try to get to as much of the basics as they can. Tough opponent on the road. How do they prepare with this short week? Well, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you get everybody uh, rested and you get everybody healthy. And they came out of last night's game in pretty good shape from that standpoint. Uh, Sunday becomes Tuesday in, in this kind of week. Sure. I think LSU gets a big advantage here because Mississippi State was in a very physical, very emotional road game. Last play of the game decided it on the one yard line. I mean, that's got to take it out of you. Even though it's their home opener and they'll be emotional, I think the advantage is to LSU. But basically, it's get everybody in, get everybody rested, get your feet up, and, uh, and get ready for state as quick as you can. Give us a prediction. What do you think is going to happen for the Tigers this Thursday night? I was a lot more concerned about this game a week ago than I am now. I think that game took a lot out of state yesterday. I think they're going to have a hard time running the football on LSU. Uh, if the Tigers don't make big mistakes, I, I see them win the game by two touchdowns or more.